Hi everybody, uh, this is day three of the road to the uh, Newark Half. I might think of a more exciting name to it, but that'll do for now. Um, I've just completed a some sprint intervals. Uh, I've gone out to the woods if I would enjoy the outdoors. Get used to running on the road. Uh, set the hay fever off a little bit, but it's something I'll have to live with. Um, so, done six four minute, 40 second sprint intervals walking in between the two. Including the warm up and cool down, it's took me approximately 27 minutes. Uh, I'll post the Strava link or the Strava map on here. Um, so I've done it in the afternoon, uh, one fitting it in between my daughter's dance lessons. Also, um, plenty of time for my body to warm up, and it's a Saturday, so I've got the luxury of doing it on the afternoon. Um, also, to the, today I've uh, signed up to, I think it's called Fourth with Life. Um, for some biomarker measurements. So I've got a blood test coming through the post that I'm going to send off for them. That would give me some basic uh, well-being and health markers. So my aim is at the end of the eight weeks after the marathon is to actually show that my uh, blood markers have actually uh, pretty soon after the marathon, like within a few days, will have returned back to normal, if not better, with this style of training. Um <clears throat> So yeah, I actually took some other markers at the start because obviously that's going to be, I'm going to be like three or four days into the training uh, once that starts. But I took my weight, which is currently 93 kilos or just over. Um, and I've also took measurements um, for my neck, my waist and my hip. I could take other measurements, but I've not, oh sorry, my chest. Um, I've took those uh, so I can measure my body fat percentage or estimated body fat using the Navy Tape method. Um, I may correlate that as well later on today with a, a caliper test. Um, but those are basic measurements that anybody can do at home to check their health. Um, the one with the neck, so the one with the chest, hips and waist also gives you um, the hip to, to waist ratio. Basically it gives you a marker of whether you're at potentially at risk of a heart condition. Um, so if I can improve those i.e. my hips and my chest stay the same or get a little bit bigger and my waist gets smaller, that'll improve my heart condition. Uh, so that's my main aim. Um, my body fat percentage with the Navy Tape method was 20%, which is a little high for me at the minute, um, but I have had about three weeks off stag do's and uh, bank holiday weekends to contend with. Normally, I'm around about 16. Uh, when I, when I, a few years ago, I was in very good shape. I was around about 13. Um, so my aim is to drop down to 16 again as a minimum and also to drop uh, my waist which was around the abdominals not where you have your jeans uh, that was 37 and a half centimeters around my midsection at the minute uh, ideally I want that around about 35 34 so those are my actual uh, physical targets the weight um, if I get anything below 90 uh, that's a pretty good weight for me to be walking around at Right then, I shall speak to you all later, uh, so I'll see you all tomorrow with my fourth update.